towards Whitebridge. TTFN. This gentleman is 77 years old. Regular viewers will already have met Dave, aka Mr T. But by way of introduction, Mr T has been the inspiring force behind my passion for mountaineering and adventure. Many years ago he taught me to find my way around the mountains and we've since spent many an adventure together. Well travelled and outrageously fit, I've seen Mr T when challenged leave many a youngster in his wake. In his 60s and after sadly losing his wonderful wife Pat, he went on the adventure of a lifetime travelling for months around South America. I am by no means his only regular female companion, but I did manage to tempt him out for a good old bothy weekend at the newly renovated Red House on the fringes of the Cairngorm Mountains. I hope you're going to enjoy joining us. The Red House stands beside the Geldy Burn on the Marl Lodge estate west of Braemar. The building, which was renovated by volunteers for the Mountain Bothies Association, is in a prime location for hill walkers aiming for two Munros and Skarsok and Karen and Elif. Here we have the lesser spotted Thompson. <laughs> and here's the Red House. see them. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> right, so now the promotion begins. <laughs> it's not jet foil. <laughs> so what are we using here? What system are we using? Pray tell. I think this could be a Primus. Mm -hmm. the, the dog even agrees, yeah. <laughs> I always ensure when visiting Bothies that I have my tent with me. I've had one or two dubious or sleepless experiences in such places and now ensure I have nice peaceful sleeping quarters available. That said, we met some interesting people here, one of whom was Czech and has his own YouTube channel named Yisin Adventures. My apologies if I've pronounced this badly. His channel is in the description below and there are some great adventures therein. Said adventurer is companion to one of my favourite channels, Whiskey in the Wild, also in the description. As the name suggests, the drinking of whiskey plays a large part on his channel and is a highly entertaining watch.
across the river. A la Mr T style. Here stands the ruins of a shooting lodge which dates from the later 19th century but was subsequently and quite extensively modified before its partial collapse. Back at the Boffy though, there are a few chores to do. Water and fuel were both in plentiful supply near the lodge. The logs were to be found just near the door and only needed a little trimming. Do you need a hand there, Dave? No, okay then. by our unfair hands. So what did you say the temperature was, Dave? 18 degrees. <laughs> it was all go in the Red House. Next up were Dawn and Andy. We're going to have to go and check out the bikes. Given that they had appeared well after dark, we had assumed that they would be staying the night. But no, these two lively individuals were part way through an epic training ride and still had some distance to go. They stayed a while for a bite to eat and then headed off again for Blair Raffle. That's one heck of a ride. I'm kind of I'm kind of jealous, but but not that jealous. You're very nice to meet you, yeah. Have fun you two. Yeah, you too. Okay. Bye. Too. Take care. I do love a night under the stars, so I abandoned Mr. T and the other Bothy occupant, Paul, and opted for the tadpole. Knowing how Mr. T loves to dance, we amused ourselves by trying what I was informed was the Tayside Tango. I'll be amazed if he didn't sustain some toe bruising. Enough toe treading. There's a very fine corbett in this area, Skua Moor, which I was keen to walk over by way of return to Braemar. It affords fantastic views of the main Cairngorm giants and would be perfect for such a clear day. The sun's coming out and there's more and more. And Ben Vrotan. Nearly at the summit. Beautiful blue sky. Look at that view. Wow, well that's some reward, isn't it? All of the Cairngorm spread out before us. <laughs> oh well I've got red. Do you, do you really want a cleavage? Does she really want a cleavage?
Kentucky, you can't see that, Breria, Ben McDewey, Karen of Aim, Derry Cairngorm. What's a view? And we've just arrived here. Just having a chill before dropping down into the Lynn of Dee. On that rosy note, we made our way back to the Lynn of Dee. The descent is not the easiest, as the track marked on the map is indistinct and rough. We ended up taking a shortcut through the woods. Taking a shortcut! The very same shortcut I had taken some years earlier on the same hill, with exactly the same result. Beware the shortcut, though it is very beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed the shenanigans and I'll leave you with a tribute to the aforementioned channel, Whiskey in the Wild. What you're about to see is his trademark, so Jonas, I hope you don't mind us stealing it just this once. Thanks once more for watching and special thanks to all those who have recently subscribed. Bye for now. Ah.